Race of Race von Fettingen. Nee, ik heb hem dicht gemaakt. Klak, klak. Lap 50. This is quite magnificent. So we're in the cargo bay right now, in the cargo hall, and uh, flat full down, spoilers up. This used to be a door. Ballast for the two. This is in the front, so it doesn't just tip over. Engine. Wat, 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 wat. 
daar is dat voor nodig. Ja, een bepaald stoel, dan gaan we zo dat er aan moet komen. Ja. Overspeed. Overspeed. Als je plannen als 12 seconden ingedrukt houdt, dan gaat hij een of andere test doen. This one doesn't do it. Je pakt naar voren. Er zit geen cent voor op dat hij zo zeg mij dan nou dat hij zelf gaat doen. Nee, dus, uh, dit, wat dat betreft is dit Amerikaans, niet Frans, uh, Gerard. Ja, dit is de mooiste plek van de Meestal als wij dan zo'n kist zo in Meerlof, dan moet je door het neuslijk, dan zit die trekker en zijn trekker eronder. Dan kan je over de trekker heen lopen en dan kun je zo dat neuslijk en dan krijg je hier naar boven. That's where we just stood. But we couldn't be there because uh, we didn't have insurance. Hey, what erg is? Three years you've done. You've learned nothing. Sorry, I'm not the father. Hey, what erg is? 
deze drie had je gedaan, je vleert het nooit. Dan kan je de ook wel af en toe andere kant. Zo hier? Ja, natuurlijk. Oké, natuurlijk. Niet naar beneden vallen, weet je. So I just opened the gear door. This one. Basically what you do, you stand on there. You stand on the tires. And that's a little light switch. And then you gotta pull that lever down. And then there's pressure points. At this point right here, you just pressure it with a uh, with a pull with a stick while standing on the tires and it just comes down. Magnificent. So this is the flap, this is what drives the flap probably, this slides into a uh, wheel right there, apparently, this slides over a wheel, a pump there, here's the gear door and this is basically the construction for the um, for landing gear removal for flights that all just folds up and this is the compartment for the actual main wheels. Naar boven gaan, toch? Oh. Daar gaan we weer. <laughs> Hij heeft er moeite mee, uh, ja. volgens mij. Ah, het is al vijf keer goed gegaan. Het is twaalf keer goed gegaan, dan gaat het die dertiende keer er ook wel goed. Dat bordelletje van mijn douwen eronder. Prachtig. Ja? Kijk de neus voor die vorm. Wat kan dat? Ik ga niet mee. Waarschijnlijk is het een vorm generator voor die ruiter. Dus. Voor het afdalen? Ja, ik ga het Ja? Ga niet zakken? So here we are. That's the uh, emergency exit for the pilots. That's um, air conditioning for the engines, basically. The landing lights, the door. So basically the M11 now has flaps 50, so here's the cargo door, a few static ports, um, that's what you control the cargo door with, obviously. And now all the windows, this is a convertible freighter, but all the windows have been covered up from the inside. So here's one of the Peewee uh, 4000 engines. I think it's a magnificent engine, that's uh, what thing there is to notify ground people when it's um, working. You can see Pratt and Whitney, a little curve, hoist point. So here we are under the wing, that's the slats, the inner slats, they just basically pop out like that, for as far as I know. Um, you got a number two after jack point I believe, oh no, that's fuel level. So here we go, that's the inner slats for the, um, uh, next to the engine. 
Oh, that's, that's, that's for refueling over there, the, the, the yellow black panel. So you see flaps 50. What a very beautiful thing is, I think, is how this um, actually sits so low to the ground, as you can see. It's only about half a meter high. I can just... Sick. So this is, uh, I show, I'll show you this to guide it. This is the main landing gear. The gear does open these. The center gear, of course. The wheels. Dirty as hell. The center gear doors, obviously. I don't know what that is. That's probably just for air in that uh, stuff. So you can see those are the hinges the center gear hangs from. APU fire control. Flaps again. Stick flaps. So this is basically is center fuel tank curving. Um, it's not all the center fuel tank, but it's you know it's cool. If we walk to the back, to the rear, we see another cargo door right here. There is one of the beacons. Uh, McDonnell Douglas M11, the huge tail engine really. Right here there's a few things, we got the APU, that's the main thing here. It also got a tail, um, tail fuel tank, that's the APU exhaust. That's an access panel to the APU, or there I should say. Pretty cool. Now this end part right here, you can see two great parts right there. Basically, you can click it up. You can take the entire part off there for engine maintenance. Because the engine, although the tail engine is six meters long, uh, ish, only that part is actually an engine. It's the same size as engines one and two. It's exactly a Prado Winnie for a thousand. It's not anything special. So that's the uh, latch for the APU. We got the huge elevators. The Stabilize the trim really. And we come to the other side. It's Papa Tom, Mark Charlie, Papa, of course. Now these doors are inoperative. Inoperative. There we see the uh, flap runs coming up. Under the wing, Papa Tom Mark Charlie Papa above us. Basically, this latch opens, a little propeller just falls out and that um, can provide electricity in case of an emergency. So we got CP511, construction number 511. Um, these are the turning thingamajabbers. Basically, if the nose gear turns, um, either of these just move one direction. I believe if it turns right, this one just turns right. Uh, just pneumatic, 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 pneumatic bumps, no step right here. Says some tire pressure stuff. Taxi lights. This is one of the three jacking points. Basically, you can just put a jack in here and jack the entire aircraft up, or at least the entire nose from here. Bye-bye.